Hello and welcome to Dixie Storytime World. Are you ready for another adventure with Zigbee, the zebra who trots into trouble? Zigbee hunts for treasure. It was early morning in Mudwater Creek. Zigbee the zebra was planning a day out in his canoe with his friends, Bertie Bird and McMeer. Jump in, Bertie, said Zigbee. Are you sure it won't tip me out? Bertie worried. Hurry up, urged McMeer. I can't hold this picnic basket forever. Finally, the three friends set off. They hadn't gone far when Zigbee spotted something in the water. Look, what's this? He said, fishing out a bottle. He shook it and out fell a piece of paper. It's a map, exclaimed McMeer. Give it to me, I can read maps. The map showed a place called Parrot Island. On it was drawn a rope bridge, a big cave, a snake and a tree marked with an X. I bet the X shows where there's treasure, said Zigbee. McMeer jumped out shouting, a treasure hunt! Let's go on a treasure hunt! Soon they'd paddle far from home, further than they'd ever been before. Down there, McMeer pointed, checking the map. Bertie felt frightened. He was sure they were being watched. Shouldn't we turn back now? He asked in a small voice. Are we nearly there? Asked Zigbee. Stupid map, rumbled McMeer. Keeps folding the wrong way. Sit down, cried Bertie. You're rocking the boat. Suddenly, a gust of wind blew the map right out of McMeer's hands and into Zigbee's face. I can't see, he said in a muffled voice. Watch out, Zigbee, warned Bertie. Too late. The canoe struck a big rock and Bertie toppled overboard. Help! I can't swim! gasped Bertie. Grab this! called McMeer, throwing the picnic basket into the water. It sank slowly along with all their food. There was only one thing for it. Zigbee jumped in to rescue his friend. It's okay, Bertie, laughed Zigbee. I can stand up here. The rock they'd hit was close to a sandy beach. As McMeer rescued the empty basket and pulled the canoe onto the beach, a great flapping noise made the three friends jump. Parrots, said Zigbee. We found Parrot Island. Told you I can read maps, shouted McMeer. Let's go find the treasure. Follow me. They followed McMeer up a steep path. At the top was a long rope bridge. Here it is, called McMeer. Hurry up, you two. Stop making it wobble, McMeer, squawked Bertie. I'm going to fall. Don't look down, warned Zigbee. They reached the other side safely, but McMeer ran on ahead. Look, he said, I found the cave. Do we really have to go in there? asked Bertie. There might be snakes. Stay close to me, said Zigbee bravely. They peered into the dark cave and carefully they inched forward. Suddenly... Ooh! They slid down the snake-like tunnel until bump! Ow! Ow! Oh! My bottom really hurts! moaned McMeer. Ouch! They spilled out of the cave onto a beach. Look! said Zigbee. Isn't that our canoe? We're right back where we started. Oops! said McMeer. Stupid map! You can't read maps, can you? groaned Bertie, and he seized the map in his beak. Let go! cried McMeer. There was a loud ripping sound. Now you've torn it, said McMeer. Bertie started to cry. I want to go home. Look, you two, said Zigbee. Where are all those parrots going? The three friends ran towards a clearing and found the most amazing sight. It must be the tree on the map, said Zigbee. And it's covered in fruit. Mm, yum, yum, yum. All oh, my favourite fruit, said McMeer, licking his lips. They ate and ate until they were full to bursting. Delicious, sighed McMeer. Yummy, sighed Zigbee. But where was the treasure? asked Bertie, puzzled. On the tree, of course, said Zigbee. The best kind of treasure is the kind you can eat. Later, the friends paddled away with their basket full of fruit. What an adventure, said Zigbee. Uh, yes, yawned Bertie. Can we go home now? I wish we had a map to get us home, said McMeer. 
No more maps, groaned Bertie. Never mind, smiled Zigbee. I think we'll find the way without one. Thanks, parrots. The end. Thank you for listening. I hope you enjoyed this story, kids. I'll see you soon in the next video. And remember, always be good and kind.